very good morning boys we are introducing here um, about physics icsc board class 9's new chapter and that chapter is motion in one dimension motion in one dimension uh, you would like to ask what does motion in one dimension mean means motion in a plane surface in uh, other words motion in one dimension uh, implies that any motion in one plane understood next uh, i would like to uh, ask you what do you mean by rest rest very common uh, word it is it is uh, used in uh, very uh, aspects but in science in science in physics especially what is rest so i would like to a uh, define uh, suppose it is a body it is a body it will and this is suppose it is surrounding uh, suppose it is tree uh, it is a river it is a road so if a body it is it is body if this body not change not change its its position its position with respect to its surroundings with respect to its surroundings then this body is called to be in rest so understood what is rest rest if a body does not change its position with respect to its surrounding then it is called in rest suppose it is a uh, moving uh, moving bus suppose it is moving bus and here one uh, passenger is sitting again here one lady passenger is sitting but the bus is moving but bus is moving so what uh, about this man passenger the man the position of this man does not change with the position of this lady so with respect to this lady the man is at rest as we have studied the uh, definition of rest so according to that definition this man does not change its position with respect to this lady so this man is at rest though the bus is moving you must be very clear here so i uh, explained it uh, very vividly motion you will ask what is motion so uh, to discuss about motion uh, i will explain with the help of the diagram suppose it is a body it is a body and its position is change suppose it is at the place it is 
here hmm? and at up to some time its place becomes here so um, hmm, its place becomes here so here um, his um, this body is uh, hmm, in place um, be, yeah, before a lady so you see guys this body in the initial position it was in front of a man after some time after suppose it is tea time its position changes and it comes in front of a lady so the position of the body is changing the position of the body is changing hmm. so this body is called to be in in motion so this body is called to be in motion so motion is a phenomena when a body changes its position with uh, its surrounding after uh, after uh, some time so the body is called to be in motion very easy phenomena it is guys guys uh, uh, in physics or in science that very quantities uh, used to be measured uh, for the experiments uh, so in a very large scale physical quantities are characterized classified in two main uh, groups first group is called scalar quantities and second group is called vector quantities so uh, it is obvious you would be eager to know what is uh, scalar quantity and what is vector quantity so first of all i would like to illustrate with difference because um, if you will understand these two quantities uh, in a different uh, in their differences you would easily understand and you is you would easily learn so i tried it to uh, show the difference between two quantities and the two quantities are scalar quantities and vector quantities so scalar quantities are it is also physical quantities and similarly vector quantities is also a physical quantity so there is no difference in the physical quantities both are physical quantities but the difference starts here scalar quantities are expressed in magnitude only suppose it is weight weight hmm. 2 kg 2 kg 4 kg huh? like that or distance suppose distance distance is 4 km 5 huh? km this weight and distance are measured in our scalar quantities because they are measured only by their magnitude as 2 kg as 4 kg is the weight as direction uh, no distance it is 4 km or 5 km but uh, vector quantities are not measured by magnitude only but they are um, they have to show the direction they are mentioned their direction also suppose uh, force suppose force so force is measured in newton 4 newton and uh, here the direction is also the direction is also means uh, to be mentioned 4 e newton in this direction or in this direction you will have to mention or you will have to know in which direction the force for newton is applied and another 
another um, vector quantity is velocity 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 is also a vector quantity so it is 5 meter per second in um, east east direction or west direction you will have to mention not only magnitude but as well as the direction is very necessary to uh, rep uh, represent any vector quantities next the difference in their addition in addition of the scalar quantities you can add by simply arithmetic mean manner Simply you add the number and you write the year's unit. But in physical um, vector quantities, it is not, it cannot be added simply by arithmetic mean. You will have to you know, take the care of directions also. And it, you, it, you cannot uh, add like this 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 simply. It is not the proper way to add vector quantity you will be wrong here hmm. and graph paper the difference very um, clear is cannot be easily plotted on graph paper because why because direction is not mentioned here direction is not taken in the uh, measuring the scalar quantity but vector quantities can be easily plotted on graph paper because direction is also mentioned so it can be easily um, easily plotted on graph paper and you will ask the uh, examples so i have already mentioned in uh, early uh, the weight is uh, vector, uh, scalar quantity and force is the vector quantity the um, distance is scalar quantity and velocity is the vector quantity right? this is a, a very uh, confusing phenomena distance and displacement it is introduced in this chapter earlier before this uh, chapter you'd have uh, used many times of this uh, many times uh, for the distance four kilometer and uh, five kilometer like that but uh, here one more um, term that is displacement is going to introduce and it will make it will perplex you a bit so i would like to clear here very clearly the difference of distance and displacement first of all i would like to distance is in one term it is called length length so guys you see this length this you will have to measure the length like that in along with the path so like that this you will have to uh, if you will have to find the distance so you will have to measure the total length of this a to b total length along with the path but the displacement is concerned displacement is the shortest distance shortest shortest distance distance and you will ask uh, what shortest what type of shortest between the shortest distance between initial position initial initial position position initial position of a body to the final position final hmm position of a body so here we, we will not go to measure the distance like that we will simply measure the shortest distance here this is called displacement this is called displacement this is displacement guys you understand so this is displacement the shortest distance 
what is the shortest distance is called displacement. 